quick video on making a single lock differential. My intention here is I took my buggy, my buggy uh, part, uh, the the uh, gears inside went bad, and uh, I was just gonna try and make a single unit out of this. So my plan is to basically remove all the gears in the center, put this piece of metal in, then this piece together together with this one, and then it'll all mount together, forming one. Uh, lock differential um, very cheaply uh, as a matter of fact so I'm gonna give this a try and see what happens later alright I have the first piece going through with the cotter pin there so there you can see it going through and uh, we're gonna just kinda bend that around that'll hold this side here so this is gonna be in place already so let's get let's put that together and then put the next piece on which I hope if all goes well it'll go just go in the cup this will go in here we'll still use the normal screws to hold it from hold them together. I'm starting to this all one hand, so still use normal screws to hold it together, and then a screw right through here to hold the whole unit together as a single, so the inside and the outside turn at the same rate. So hopefully uh, we'll get that going for you. Let me give it a try. Okay, there it is together, bent around, ready to put up the two pieces together. Let's go to the next part. All right, now I have the screws together, the outer mesh. Inner still is turning because I have it down here and it's still not connected. So now I just have to connect the bottom to the case and then everything will be one big unit. As you can see this all still comes out. It's hard to do with one hand but you can see here it still comes out and uh, we'll get that all together. Now it's all together that you can see is my screw that basically goes through that metal shaft I made through the end piece here into the cup so that way the gear, the cup, the shaft and the inside are all turning at the same rate of speed and in essence locking the differential like if this was one solid piece going from here to here. So I've gotten rid of all the gears in the inside. Um, the reason why I did it, because you're probably wondering why I would do that. Uh, first of all, I'm, I kind of like the way it runs with equal power going to front and back. I'm, a, I'm more basher than racer, but it still does well for me, good enough for what I need. And the other thing is... Apache parts are discontinued, so now I'm working on ways to make things work without having to order discontinued parts or trying to get creative. Now, I know a lot of the parts in the Vorza fit this and the D8, um, but uh, I'm just trying to find alternatives. I, I don't think I'm going to get rid of my Apache, so I'm trying to find alternatives, and I think this one might work. My only fear here is that the aluminum tube that I use in the inside may be too soft of a metal that I may have to do it with steel versus aluminum. Anyway... We'll give this a try and see what happens. I'm going to put it in my Apache and give it a run later. There's the center diff all put together, getting ready to go back in the Apache. As you can see, there is just enough room here for this to go through without an issue. So let me turn that for you. See, there you go. Nice and smooth, very easy to do. So we'll get it in the car and see what happens. Right, now I have in my new steel junction uh, center diff that's locked. Um, and here is my old one I had in here which was done with JB Weld. So if you look right here, let's see if I can get it to kind of zoom in. See there? Little gray dot, that's JB Weld coming out the screw hole there. So this one was done with JB Weld. Significantly heavier than this one with just the aluminum rod. So I want to see if it makes a difference. This one's held up, but let's see how this one does. So we'll see what's going on. Take it easy, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, way to make a sealed, or excuse me, a lock differential. Take it easy, bye. All right, so you can see here how it's working. I do have a bad diff in the vehicle right now, one of the front. You can see that's kind of damaged how the tires rotated in. It's not a diff, it's um, uh, I forgot what it's called now, but anyway. Oh. So, anyway, you can see the tire there is off. So anyway, the center diff is working. Now I just got to fix that front. Um, it seems to be, it's been, it gave me issues the other day when I crashed into a tree. So, that's that.